welcome to our next segment of Boka Talks. Today we have with us Mr. Samir, father of Dhruv, our under 12 squad player. Hello Mr. Samir. Hi. Yeah. Um, since when uh, Dhruv has been playing football? Well, he's 12 now. He's been playing for uh, almost 5 years now. He started when he was 7. So yeah. Okay. And how long he's been playing in Boka? Uh, it's been a good 3 years now, 3 plus years. Okay. Yeah. And uh, why? Did he choose football as a sport? Well, uh, he's been always, uh, you know, from the time he was, he was like three years old, he started uh, his love with football and uh, we also kind of watch football at home. Uh, his uncle, which is, uh, who's the mum's brother, so he uh, used to play football. So, you know, we have a kind of family kind of set up where football is kind of everyday okay. thing. So, yeah, so he picked up from then on and uh, yeah that's how it's, it started and, and it's it's kind of stuck. Particular uh, sportsman he idolizes? Of course Ronaldo hands okay. down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been we've been blessed enough to watch him play live in um, in Italy. Uh, Inter versus Juventus and not only we uh, watched him play but we he also scored a goal so that was like a double whammy for him. <laughs> yeah so it was it was really good. Okay. Memorable one for him. Okay good good. Yeah. So, as a father of a young athlete, mm -hmm. so what do you, how do you see uh, Dhruv in the next few years? Well, uh, with the kind of talent that he has and the uh, feedback uh, that uh, that we've got for him, uh, with the guidance of the coaches, uh, the kind of work that uh, people are putting in on him, um, I definitely feel that he's uh, definitely made for for big league, and uh, he should he should get there uh, sooner rather than later. So yeah, I'm I'm definitely looking at him more professionally, and uh, he's he's pretty focused, and uh, we should hopefully get there soon. Good. And um, so he's been playing with Boca since last three plus years. Three plus years, yeah. So after joining Boca, any changes you have seen in him? Of course, he's uh, he's definitely grown technically. Um, uh, so he uh, was more of uh, a box to box player, uh, so to speak. Um, would uh, you know he would make the plays uh, definitely but uh, over the last uh, three years he definitely has improved his uh, his crossing game he, he he picks players at will and he's he's pretty good at dribbling which uh, definitely has improved uh, the coaches have really put in their hard work on him and and this this kind of shows right and, and he's become he's become technically uh, more balanced as a player and he he analyzes the game well he knows uh, when to hold the ball, when to uh, release it. He he picks the players uh, properly, and uh, he's he's a he's a good uh, he's a good crosser of the ball as well. So it's it's uh, definitely improved over the course of last three years. So uh, yeah, so he definitely is going from strength to strength. So as a player, um, how do you think Boca has helped him? Well, uh, the coaches that we have here, I think, uh, technically very sound. Uh, they understand the the players very well. They understand the uh, game of each individual, how they play and what position they should be playing. Uh, he used to play as a striker to begin with and then they moved him to wings. So uh, that has become uh, really good for him uh, in terms of, uh, you know, like I said, he, he crosses very well now. And uh, the fact that they they realize that, you know, that is his potential and, and they moved his position. So that's, that's yeah, that's, that's really helped. Uh, not only him individually, but uh, but it, but the team as well. So it's 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 uh, augering well for him and the team together. Yeah. So he's enjoying his change of position. Oh, definitely. He's he's been wanting to uh, play with his right foot as well. He's he's predominantly left-footed player. Okay. And uh, the last match that he played, and uh, there was a penalty, and he took the penalty with his right foot, and and he scored. So. Yeah, he's been he's been uh, developing uh, skills uh, over the years. So good yeah. as years, you know, if he can develop his both the feet. Oh yeah, so it's yeah. an advantage. Yeah, yeah, right. certainly. So as a parent, uh, how is your relationship with the academy? Well, uh, it's been um, uh, it's been a really a good uh, ride so far. Uh, I was uh, talking to Sunanda the other day, and I told him I said uh, if we are in Bangalore. For rather as long as we are in Bangalore, uh, we are not going anywhere else uh, but Boca. You know, it's the it's the kind of development that we have seen in Dhruv. 
uh, not denying the fact that he did not develop in the previous academy but uh, here he's he's reached the next level so uh, so yeah so that that should kind of tell you uh, how i feel about the academy uh, because uh, because the coaches are, are really good, they're really focused. Uh, they focus uh, individually on on players, uh, which is really good to see, right? It's it's really heartening. Uh, because at the end of the day, uh, you know, you want the kid to develop, right? You don't want the child to be the best at this age, uh, but the process is what we focus at. And I think Boca is doing exceptionally well in that in that regard, and and that's for everybody to see. So yeah, pretty happy. Good to hear that, and. Um Last, if I would ask one thing you can say about Boca. Well, Boca is, um, I think, one of the uh, best uh, schools that we can get in, in Bangalore. Uh, I don't know about uh, outside of Bangalore because um, I, I don't know about, about the other okay. territories. But uh, yeah, in Bangalore, I think it's one of the best academies. I would uh, recommend anybody who's, who's into football and wants to train, uh, wants to get coached properly, uh, Boca is the academy for you, hands down. How he handles him pressure? Uh, okay, so one of the how good is he? Yeah, he's he's uh, pretty good. Uh, one of the best things that we do as or rather uh, as parents we can do is uh, not uh, talk too much uh, technical with with the child yes. because. Um, all said and done, uh, you know, you're not from that domain, right? So you don't want to. So even if Dhruv uh, loses a game, right? Uh, even if he does not play well, I am not the one to criticize him too much because uh, unless he fails, uh, he's not going to learn. And I rather have him fail at this stage uh, rather than later, right? He, he needs to know that he is not always going to be in the limelight. He is not going to be scoring goals all the time, right? So I, I definitely uh, do have a talk with him, but uh, we don't, we don't pinpoint or criticize on things because uh, that's that's all a developmental phase right and and he has to learn on his own from his mistakes so we just let it sink and uh, he just has to sit with his uh, sit with uh, sit he has to make it sit with him and uh, yeah realize uh, where he uh, you know went wrong and what he could have done better uh, but yeah, apart from that i don't think we uh, we went too much on you know what he did wrong and what he could have done better but yeah yeah that's Dhruv has long, long way to go. Yeah, certainly. You know? certainly. Yes, he does, he's he only does. 12. Yeah. So, nice to talk to you, Mr. Sameer. Yeah, same Thank here. you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much.